Today, I'll be preparing copper powder from Weed Killer. Copper is an orange-brown metal that finds a lot of use in metallurgy, electronics, and chemistry. I'll be preparing copper powder to add to my Elma collection, but I also have potential use for it as a catalyst to oxidize ethanol to acetaldehyde. The materials that are needed to prepare the copper powder include 19.029 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate, 4 iron nails, and about 125 milliliters of distilled water. It is important for the nails to be iron for the reaction to occur, but if the only nails that are available to you are galvanized, a couple of milliliters of hydrochloric acid will be needed to dissolve the zinc coating. To a beaker, the copper sulfate pentahydrate is added and dissolved in 125 milliliters of distilled water. Once the copper sulfate is dissolved, about four iron nails are added to the solution and allowed to sit. Since the nails I have are galvanized, I added about 2 to 3 milliliters of 3 molar hydrochloric acid to dissolve off the zinc to expose the iron underneath. The concentration of hydrochloric acid is not too important, but do not, do not add too much acid as it will start the reactor with the iron and dissolve it as well. The reaction is seen to start by turning the nails a black color before small fluffs of copper crystals start forming. The reaction is occurring as shown here. Copper sulfate, when dissolved, forms copper ions. They react with the iron metal in a single displacement reaction to form iron 2 sulfate and copper metal. But why does this reaction work? The reaction works by using something called the reactivity series, where at one end are extremely reactive metals like potassium, while at the other end are metals like gold that take very harsh conditions to react. In this series, iron is more reactive than copper, so the iron will reduce the copper from copper 2 plus to copper metal, while the iron becomes oxidized, becoming iron 2 plus. An additional note for why the zinc coating needs to be removed for this reaction to work is that despite zinc being more reactive than copper, a copper coating will form instead based on my previous experience with this reaction. The way around this to form a more pure product was to add hydrochloric acid. The solution was allowed to sit for 24 hours, which resulted in a greenish iron 2 sulfate solution with fluffy copper crystals growing from the nails. The solution was filtered and washed with lots of water to remove leftover acid as well as copper and iron salts before being allowed to dry. The final yield was 4.979 grams of copper powder, which is above the 100% yield, which means the powder is still a little wet, but the reaction should be quantitative. The beautiful orange brown copper powder will be a nice addition to the copper series and serve nicely as a useful catalyst. I hope this procedure was useful and thank you for watching.